Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to push a StatPro physical model to the iTwin analytical synchronizer. Now, more than likely, you use several different software packages to meet the needs of your projects, including modeling, analysis, design, drawing, detailing, and BIM interoperation. The iTwin analytical synchronizer can help you ensure that these specialized products can communicate with each other so that the inefficiencies in your process, such as data reentry, missed modifications, and clashes are avoided. So let's go ahead and get started. And for this training course, we're gonna start with a model that has already been created in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. As you can see, this model contains a variety of objects, including nodes, members, surfaces, and panels, along with load cases and load combinations. When you're at the point when you're ready to access your iTwin services, go to the Model tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and select the iTwin services icon. This will bring up the iTwin Services dialog, which will be docked over at the right-hand side of your screen. Now, the first thing we're going to do when accessing your iTwin Services is to select whether you would like to synchronize to a file or synchronize to the cloud. If you synchronize to a file, you can save your repository locally on your machine. If, alternatively, you choose to synchronize to the cloud, this would allow for synchronization to an iModel on ProjectWise 365, and it allows access to some additional cloud-based functionalities, such as your analytical design review and issues resolution. For this particular training today, we're gonna to go ahead and select to synchronize to a file. The next thing we're going to do is select which file we want to synchronize to. If you are creating your file for the first time, you're going to go ahead and select the Synchronize to a File option, select New, and then you can name your file in your local directory. Once you have selected your repository, go ahead and click on the Confirm button. Now, before we go ahead and create the repository officially, we're going to take a look at the settings. So here I'm going to select the Edit Settings option. The first option available to me is the Model Offset Settings. This will basically dictate where the origin of your STAD Pro physical model is versus where the origin will be in your iTwin analytical synchronizer model. In addition to that, you can also select a rotation. Next, we're gonna take a look at our STAD settings for interoperability. And you have the option to send over your loads, any unused objects, your member alignment, and your design results. Now, depending upon what I'm using this repository for, will dictate which options I want to send over to that repository. For this training today, I'm gonna to go ahead and send my load information, my unused objects, and my member alignment. In addition to member alignment, I also have some other alignment method options that I can go ahead and utilize. In addition to that, I also have some tolerances for fixing node locations, and you can go ahead and adjust these to your needs. Now, after you set up your settings for the interoperability, you're ready to officially push your file. Let's go ahead and select that option, and this will make changes to our local repository. Now, upon selecting the push to file option, you're going to be able to see a toggle for show change management. Now, with this option turned off, basically the process is going to automatically happen where your repository is going to be created from your STAD Pro physical model with all of the objects that are available to be sent to the repository. If you choose to keep show change management turned on, that will allow you as the engineer to selectively 
pick which objects you want to accept to go into your repository and which ones you would choose not to send. And again, that depends upon how eventually you're going to be using this repository. I'm going to go ahead and keep show change management turned on and then I will select the push button. Since I have the change management option turned on, uh, iTwin Analytical Synchronizer will appear on my screen with all of the objects that it sent from the STAD Pro physical model. This will include all of your material properties, all of your section properties for any members and surfaces that you have created. It'll include all of your load cases and load combinations that you specified, along with any properties assigned to each of those types of objects. At this point in our workflow, we're still at the process for creating our iTwin model. So we'll go ahead and select which objects we would like to accept into our repository. For me, for today's session, I'm gonna go ahead and say select all. I'm gonna hit the accept option, and then I'm gonna click on the update button. This means everything from my STAD Pro model that was eligible to be sent over to the iTwin analytical synchronizer will be officially sent. Now you can also track your changes through the iTwin analytical synchronizer. And to do that, we're gonna go ahead and enter a comment each time we create a repository or update or pull information from a repository. So let's go ahead and say, create iTwin from STAD. We're gonna classify this as a major change, and then we'll go ahead and click OK. Once we do that, we've officially created our iTwin analytical synchronizer model. At this point, this concludes the process for pushing a STAD Pro physical model to the iTwin analytical synchronizer. In the next series of videos, we'll take a deeper dive into the iTwin model that we created, including investigating or verifying the properties that were assigned to the members, surfaces, and loads. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.